Hi guys, welcome back to Mass Effect 2. And, uh, I guess, um, they tested it, right? Tell me they tested it. Anyways, now we're gonna probably go do... Someone was, like, bothering me and going, like, Hey, why aren't you doing more loyalty missions? No. Uh, but if people want to know why I'm not doing more loyalty missions, I was trying to spread them out. Because we were doing, like, uh, I don't know, some boring stuff. But at least the, the DLC stuff was, like, four parts and pretty interesting, I guess. Uh, so I guess we're gonna go help Jacob now, why not? So, you know, more boring stuff, you know. I don't really feel the need to talk to anybody, but there's a couple of plans to scan first. Uh, so I guess we'll start off with that. I have detected an anomaly. Oh dude, it's Plan Jacob. Nice. So something happened here. Possible rumored site of illegal art archaeological activity. Alright, fine. It belongs in a museum, fellas. Alright, well, we're gonna bring along the, our new team. Uh, he's got three. I'm gonna save for the ammo, so we're gonna save for that. I don't know. So I, I think I'm supposed to. I forget what shotgun I'm supposed to use. Less effective at long range. We don't want that. Um, it's tight grouping helps wound ballistics at longer ranges. Okay, so it's excavator. I think I want. Did I have to like read like a fucking like a billion shit things? All right, whatever. We'll just give him that. Uh, I think we're good. We like whoever thought reading this shit instead of giving just weapon stats. I fucking hate them. And you know what they say about smoking. It kills. <laughs> it's like, oh Jesus, health and safety inspection team coming in. Alright, time to find some unauthorized uh, cigarettes. This is a non-smoking planet. Uh, let's like, so... Yeah, switch them Change up. Weapons. And we'll go to this thing. What the hell is this posse here? What the fuck? There's like a billion people here. Oh, is, it, is it possible that I'm not one-shotting them anymore? No, I'm one-shotting them. Oh, I see what that guy's doing. So I'm telling him to move away. What? I I want to see that guy. He seemed to get be stuck in some kind of position. I probably should have gotten more ammo. Actually, I didn't even see what was out there. Fuck. I I, I just want to open the door. Why did it transition? When when has this game ever done some kind of weird transition? To, to, with doors. I trust him. Nothing can hurt me. So am I am I even allowed back out there? Oh shit. Uh we have problems. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, I'm not gonna take any damage. Yeah, looks like things are pretty good. I just want, like, dude, the, the game baited me with, like, a glitched out guy. Yeah, let's, uh, take cover on the glass.
Okay, good. I can go back out there. I'll oh, thank thank God for that. <laughs> like, when does it do ever a fade to black? Uh, that's so inconsistent. What the fuck? Yeah, like there's shit out here. Like, look, I would have uh, missed this element zero, and nobody would have ever forgiven me. Like, shit, I'm gonna go watch. I don't know, fucking can't go do a fucking or no Pat do like fucking Mass Effect. Fucking Pat. I know he's watching. I know he's here. He likes Mass Effect too much. Alright. Fucking f fade to black doors, alright. Do, do you know what do you know what these feel like? It feels like interns wrote these, you know? I don't know. Alright, well, let's, uh... <laughs> interns wrote these. No, they made these levels, like, it's just, like, fucking, like... You know, people people who are just like, I don't know, the lowest bidder kind of shit for these side missions some of the time. Alright, you go up the ramp, then you go down another ramp, and there's no fucking objective marker at all, so... I mean, I, I guess I don't know how you can get lost in this. Fuck, I missed. What the hell are you doing, Rambo? You just jump onto a box. You're hitting me, Shepard! I, I really wasn't actually. Oh look, and oh dude, the, the commander's gonna be on this sweet fucking boss fight. And he dies in like three hits too. Basically, if you don't get what I'm saying, I'm saying these side missions really suck. What the? Too late. No. Like, why do they keep going on boxes? I, I don't understand. Oh no, here's a, oh, a Lieutenant Lock, guys. He has less, less HP than the Commander did. Can you, can you Iron Krogan over here? You know what? You guys just go over there. Dude, like, why? Why did they go on the top here? I'm annoyed. Alright, so the artifact is secured in transit. Oh, it's telling us where it is. We can recapture it. I guess they stole some artifacts. Time to Indiana Jones' this shit. Prothean video log. Huh. Oh god, not again. Alright, so they had Prothean Beacons, right? So like, how did... How did they know about the Reapers coming? Commander, you received a new message at your private terminal. Yeah, I better have. Lucent's activity traced. Alright, well they added it to my galaxy map so we can go back to that ship occasionally. At some point, but we should do Jacob's mission. This is what I originally came here for. Instead we went to Planet Jacob. So let's see if uh, Pi Cholio or whatever the fuck has at one half capacity. a ton of fucking. Uh, no, it doesn't have a ton of planets, so too bad we're gonna fucking just do all this on screen. Now I don't really need the resources anymore, but I'm trying to do all the side missions. Like we're trying to we're trying to 100% of the game, even though some of the side missions may really suck. In fact, I don't think I had one that was even my favorite at all. Cause there's no dialogue, there's just nothing that goes on at all. So... Can't say I really like it. Can't really say that at all. Well, this is the best planet, 2175 air or two. Dude, what's this side mission even put out? Uh, it's like, I think like his parents or something were on some planet or something? I don't even know. Anomaly detected. Uh... Doesn't say anything. General distress. MSV Hugo Gernsback. Registration BW 
go yeah, we don't have to bring them along oh wait what cycle parents actually you know what okay, what, did, what did she get okay cool something rather than the leather straps that sounds excellent all right we'll bring Garrus all right um what am I saving my points for I don't know. Cryo ammo? Flashbang grenades? I don't use these though. Maybe maybe I'll maybe I'll maybe I'll, maybe that's what I'll do. I'll I'll put all my points into flashbangs and then they'll become useful. I mean, cryo ammo is a pretty good idea too to be honest. Cuz not there's not every t situation where the heavy disruptor ammo ever comes in handy though. But, you know, I I, I don't really like switching between shit, so we're, we're probably not going to do that. Uh, you can get more armor piercing rounds. And apparently I've never used you before, so let's just put all your points into incinerator ammo. Oh uh, yeah. You can just have that yourself. Now I'm just gonna waste all my points with him because um, I don't think I'm ever gonna use him again, so I can basically guarantee you this. So we're just gonna waste it all, yeah. Alright, so what shotgun does he want? Alright, excavator. Sure, why not? You can have the hand cannon. Yeah, that's good enough. Welcome, Jake. Welcome, Jacob. Welcome to Jurassic Park. So I mentioned, I don't remember any of this, so this is... Looks like it was stripped after the crash. They'd have tried to get a beacon up as soon as possible. I don't remember any of this, so this is basically blind for me. Because this is apparently so unremarkable that I just don't remember any of this. Alright, well... alert. Danger of rapid neural decay. Local flora chemically incompatible with human physiology. Override. Beacon resumed. Pause time, 8 years, 237 days, 7 hours. From the look of it, this beacon's been here a while. Why would they wait years to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. 8 years, 237 days, 7 hours. Pause is recorded as... Record deleted by Acting Captain Ronald Taylor. That's not right. My father was first officer. Ronald Taylor was promoted under emergency command protocols. Other flagged issues. Unsafe deceleration. Local food and neural decay. Beacon activation protocols. Who's in command of this ship? Where are the survivors? Captain Harris Fairchild reported killed following unscheduled suborbital descent. First officer Ronald Taylor promoted in field to acting captain. But where is he now? The location of the remaining crew of the Hugo Gernsback is unknown. This beacon has been unattended for several maintenance cycles. I assume unsafe deceleration refers to the crash. Give me the details. Following an unspecified impact and sublight drive failure, the Hugo Gernsback made an unscheduled descent at 465% of theoretical recommended suborbital velocity. The Hugo Gernsback then decelerated at 782% of theoretical recommended approach velocity, sustaining significant damage to investment and crew. Why wasn't the beacon activated before now? This emergency beacon became functional after 358 days, 12 hours. Following the unscheduled suborbital descent of the Hugo Gernsback, activation was triggered remotely after 8 years, 237 days, 7 hours, on the authority of Acting Captain Ronald Taylor. Pause in beacon protocol is recorded as... Record deleted. 
Local food impairs brain functions? What are the effects? Impairment of mental function due to chemical imbalance begins within seven days of ingesting local flora, regardless of decontamination or preparation. Impact on higher cognitive abilities and long-term memory is cumulative, but significant within a standard month. It is not known if neural decay is permanent. Data collection was not completed. Come on, let's get going. Let's check the ship. My father had the beacon for almost nine years. Maybe that neural decay affected him. It must have after so long. Well, why did he turn it on now? Bum, bum, bum. All right, well. I keep forgetting whenever I scope and it slows down everything. It sucks. Alright. I guess it's it for this place. Activated Beacon VI. You came from the sky? The leader said someone would come. He delayed for so long, but he still has power. Some have lost faith. The hunters. They will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. Who are you? What was your rank on the Gernsback? Uh, I, I, I can't think. The leader thinks for us and, and we serve. So, so we can go home. But some want to fight him. They were cast out. He exiled them. So they hunt his machines and those who help him. They don't believe that rescue will come. Watch out! Hunters, they won't stop until the leader is dead. Kill them, agents of the liar! He will not escape. Hostiles up Wait, ahead. so I, I saved her with a paragon action, but like, what would happen if I didn't paragon action? Uh, what's their weapons look like? There we go. All right, there's Jacob going in the front. What the fuck is Jacob doing? Well, that's uh, that's why we don't bring Jacob along for these missions. Pretty much his usefulness right there. And how much I fucking care. Just me and Garrus. Let's just pretend Jacob isn't here. I don't know why we don't have another squad mate. Like, the game just glitched out and we didn't get another squad mate. I don't understand. Garrus, what do you think about this situation? I don't want to waste a sniper bullet on that. Things very wrong. I, could it be the flora? Couldn't possibly be that. Strip for parts. Tech's wearing out. Those hunters must be laying on the pressure. Could you even see it? You were like so far away. Is that a settlement? They better be friendlier than the beach group. I need answers. I mean, 
they only came from one direction, so they're probably a part of the same group, to be honest. from the same group as the ones that attacked us, but these are docile. Is this an earlier stage, or did the exile make the others violent? Either way, such a clear gender divide seems odd. It doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat, to decay. You are cursed with his face. You certainly seem to have a way with words. You heard her. I have his face. My father forced the crew to eat toxic food. What the hell? Because he's black. There, I said it. Look at these spoiled food stores. They've been eating only that toxic local food for who knows how long. Like that wasn't obvious enough. He has a cruel face. His cruel face. I can't talk to you. I don't want punishing. Go away. You are like him. You will keep us here. He keeps us. Protects us. What the hell? Somebody had to push them to make that. That's borderline worship. Ah, PDA. One second, this definitely does damage, right? Yeah, see, it does some damage. Someone was like, Why are you using overload? Overload that the incinerating on things that are mechs, and I was doing it for damage. I mean, I could cloak for it too. But. Shoot without question, not exactly a long term discipline solution. Well, that would make them hate him, but maybe it was just for defense. Yeah, sure. Your dad's a tyrant, face it. And if you learn from his example, maybe I'll like you. But you fight his machines. You might stop this. This, I forget how to read. But this was the start. What he promised and what they did to us. We need the sky. Take us back to the sky. Think on your own time. What's in there? It's a crew logbook. Some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long. They were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay. My father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. Not what I would have done, but they were in a desperate situation. How long do you stay desperate? The numbers go up from there. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle or toys in a year. All the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women, assigned them to officers like pets. And after the beacon is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties too. After. My father took control and didn't stop it. Anything in there about whether the effects of the toxic food can be treated? Nothing. But it seems like the right call. If everyone gets it, who's left to fix the beacon? You'd never get out. They did fix it. And the signal wasn't sent until now. I'm starting to see why. Does it say why he separated the men and the women? Or is it as bad as it seems? No, it turns to gibberish. Maybe the men got violent early on, but from the state of this place, I'd say the hunter thing is recent. What he allowed here, Shepard? I don't see any justification. We haven't seen any other officers. He killed them? There were five after the crash. Medical, engineering, bridge staff. Should have had no problem fixing the beacon and keeping people safe. All killed within the same week. About a month after the beacon was repaired. It's looking like he only activated the beacon because the men have come back ready to fight. He let this happen, and now it's biting him in the ass. Nine years. Why didn't he set it right? I need to find this man. Set to explode.
Let's just hit the shields. This is Captain Ronald Taylor. Thank God you're here. My crew went insane. I only just got free. God damn it. It's really him. Just got free. He's covering his ass. The old corpse was posed like a warning. The new ones were left where they fell. The hunters started fighting back. All right. Well. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, I may have uh, overestimated how <laughs> much shields I have. Whoops. My blood. Turk and Creed have already examined this one, so we're just gonna run ahead or into the trees here. I was being trashed, what can I say? I wonder how much how much will cloak give me? This is a higher cooldown, I mean that's really the thing about it. Alright, you guys go up there. Yeah, I'm shooting me, even though I put those guys up. Why are these guys not helping at all? And I like how he uses warp or whatever, and it just made things less convenient. See you next fall. I like how they see me and immediately start shooting me. <laughs> you got it. It is gonna be useful. I think the biax has actually worked against me, honestly. Uh. Actually, every time they knock it down, I can't finish them off. Like, that person lived because of that. What are you doing? Oh my fucking... Make room with Jacob. Alright. <laughs> We're all fucking beside this cover. How accurate is that shotgun? I need to see. Like, why is this thing so difficult to aim? I don't understand. Oh my god, there's even more there. Yeah, you guys just go up there somewhere. I don't even care. Just wanted to look at the heavy pistol. This. This looks interesting. He had his fun. Now he wants out. Son of a bitch. I mean, quite honestly, I would give him the benefit of the doubt, but uh, that's not that's not what uh, this shepherd's gonna do. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Cause like maybe it took eight years to repair, you know, things like that. Jacob's just like, are you for fucking real? Dude, I was just running normally. Oh, this fucking ended. Throw 
drawing people away. This thing is not my father. I like him. I like him better than you, actually. Brainwash guard. I missed him? One second, I'm gonna fuck with Jacob. Fuck. <laughs> Target down. Hey, what the fuck? How they fucking hit me? What? Why do you have that gun? Why do you always reset? You got it. Why is literally every system in this game shit? <laughs> okay, got him. Ah, uh, that's a... that's a mech. Oh, Jacob's dead again, guys. Rip. Uh, we may have a problem here. Cause, is there someone else over there? Yeah, we, may, we have to deal with him. Seems to be having trouble pathfinding to me. Garris go. Oh, there he is. Got it. Affirmative. Because I know that they teleport the al your allies around, and I can guarantee you it's because they get stuck in shit all the time. <laughs> oh, tell me you tested it. Thank God, Daddy Taylor's right here. You're here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. I've gotta have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. The toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you, exactly? Doesn't matter. You're running a very questionable setup here, Captain. Explain. Of course. Uh, it was chaos after the crash, and the crew never really accepted me as Captain. They rebelled and trapped us here. Once they started eating the toxic food, I couldn't control them. And I couldn't get to the beacon. Just stop. We know what you did to your crew. Why let this go ten years? Who the hell are you? Taylor. Lieutenant Jacob Taylor. Jacob? My Jacob? Not who you expected, Captain? I was hoping not to have to explain this to him. Or anyone, really. You have to understand, this isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. I'm not biting, Captain. At some point, you chose to do this to your crew. You. What was that moment? I want to know that there was an actual reason. There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. 
As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance, like an instinct. Pure authority was easy at first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial, rank, protocol, they couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. What happened to the other officers? Anders found his conscience a little late to step back. He had an accident. Things got tense. End of the day, I was the one with the mechs. I got a little basic in setting examples. But I was kind to my people once things settled down. Seemed like I'd earned some peace. You fought over people like they were toys. Things. The stores from the ship couldn't last forever. You had to know this would end one day. Dining for one can really stretch things out. Besides, I can think of a lot worse retirement plans than stripping down and joining the droolers. That was before the hunters, of course. Dumb or not, I'd feel it if they got their hands on me now. They want blood. I'd prefer to keep it. <laughs> it's all about you. Everything. You didn't feel any responsibility to get out of here for the sake of family? I gave him a good start. He was a smart kid and was better off not following me. We figured that out a long time before I took jobs in deep space. And after things escalated here, it seemed best to just disappear off the galactic map. Till you needed someone to save your ass. What triggered the males to change and threaten you? This planet has some strange cycles to it. I've seen some plants around I never saw before. Odd weather. Maybe some just adapted a little too well. And if you treat them like animals, big shock. They become animals. Can't say this wouldn't be a hell of a vacation. But you don't get to just walk away after all this time. You're damn right he doesn't. What happened here? I should vent his head. But he's not even worth pulling the trigger. I don't know who you are. Because you're not any father I remember. I'm pretty sure we can spare the ammo. Yeah, you're right. But I'm not taking the shot. My father owned his mistakes. He was a different man. A good man. Half-charged. You've seen the crazy ones. This won't stop them. It's not for them, Dad. dark dude <laughs> holy shit uh, all right that escalated extremely quickly but you tested it right tell me you tested it you tested it <laughs> <laughs> 